freedom of speech is very important because in the end, having a, a voice means having freedom and autonomy. Mm. Obviously, I think there are limitations. Let's say for an example, where it may lead to actual physical harm. Let's say for an example, I use my speech to cause a racial riot. Not racial disharmony, racial riot. That's definitely a limitation to it. And it's not just in Malaysia, even in the most developed of countries where that speech may cause physical harm. I think there are limitations placed. However, if that speech causes discomfort, offence, at times even anger, that's the speech which we need to protect because at times, the toughest speeches to consume or to digest are the ones which bring the biggest social impact. I mean, if you look at, at the days of Merdeka, I mean, these were speeches then which were considered to be seditious. So imagine if we disallowed then our forefathers to speak freely, we wouldn't be where we're at today. I mean, if you look at the days where many trade unions were speaking up about pay transparency, equal wages, those were discomforting. Some use very vulgar language, cause anger. Are we going to criminalize? I mean, so that's where, to me, just because the speech may be controversial, offensive, at times sparking anger, it is not a license to suppress freedom of speech. You must be exceptionally careful. The problem is today, usually you only suppress in the most exceptional of circumstances. Today, we suppress most of the time. <laughs> so it's the other way around. But I still think Malaysia being a nascent democracy, I think is progressing. But there's a lot more work which we need to do to ensure that our country becomes a developed country.